What's up guys, Tim Little, welcome back to Tactical Bass. And today's video, got another fishing video for you. Today we're gonna go out and catch some smallmouth. Gonna be doing some light line, finesse, maybe some swim baits, some jerk baits. Should be a good one, let's go. Oh yeah. They're choking this thing. Yo. With it. Got the right species on, it's not a, I don't know, I'll just slip them. There we go. Got that guy, the hook just came right out. Got that guy on that little net bait finesse tube. It's a healthy one. Thanks, dude. These fish, so we started out fishing the break uh, with drop shots, swim baits. Just came up the lip and noticed that there was some smallmouth up on the shallows just cruising. Uh, we're only in about less than five feet of water uh, but these fish are up here cruising so if you make a nice long cast i like this too because you it's got some weight to it eighth ounce head but i can send it and then you just hop it once and let it sit and those fish just kind of cruise over and look at it you hop it again they swim over and munch it so pretty cool not really in you know too intrusive they don't get intimidated by it in the shallow water a lot of times as these fish are up in this clear water shallow they're kind of spooky finicky Make a nice long cast, lead them, don't land on their head. Let the ripples on the water dissipate and then get it, pop it once and those fish will see it from 50, 60 feet away. Pretty cool. Bigger rock bass. <laughs> Jumbo rock bass. Thanks, dude. That's cool. <laughs> 
out off this edge. A little swimmer. Thanks, bud. BFS set up. <laughs> Thanks, dude. So we went back out deep, tried to fish the ledges, caught more rock bass, caught one smallmouth. Now we're up on these big flats, just fan casting the swim baits. How's your weekend? Pretty low key? Okay. Pretty low key? Yeah, for the most part. Cool. Yeah. You want to check licenses? Okay. You want to check licenses? Yeah, it's okay. you almost uh, good. Right in between Knoxville and Chattanooga. Yeah. Probably more close to the river. Uh, appreciate it. Thank you. All right, back on the board with the right species. Thanks, dude. So it's super slick calm today. Hardly any ripple on the water. There's some boat traffic that's kind of giving some waves or whatever, but it's really, really important on these slick calm days to use light line and to make really long cast so i'm actually throwing that's a quarter ounce guppy head that's a three aught seven pound sunline on a bfs setup and i'm a i can chuck this thing a long ways farther than i can on a spinning setup and uh try and trick some of these smallmouth into eating and then obviously trying to keep the bait, the bait away from the rock bass seems like every other cast we're catching a rock bass but uh beautiful day got some good smallmouth I 
Oh, they were? Oh, they jumped me. It's not as big as they are. That's where it came in. Should be. Oh, yeah. Pretty one. Yep. Talking. Beautiful small mouth. That's what we're looking for. Nice, healthy smallmouth. So guys, what we're doing, never been to this lake before. Um, so we've tried shallow, we've tried deep, we've tried breaks, we've tried sand flats. And basically what we've come up with, we've caught a few just out off the breaks, we've caught a few shallow, but now we're sitting in about 16 feet of water. It's a giant, I don't know, probably a couple mile long sand flat. And every couple hundred yards, there's about a 20 or 30 foot dark spot. It's a sand grass, like little little grass on bottom. I think that's what they call it. Uh, it's just a little, little something different and making bomber casts with the swim baits and uh, picking them off. You know, we're having to go through lots of sand bass, like I said earlier, but uh, that was the right one. That's the one that we came here for. Beautiful, dark, big, small mouth. Doesn't get much better than that, but that's all we're doing. We're basically drifting, looking for uh, contour changes or little holes in the sand or the dark spots, those, uh, those big grass patches and picking the fish off out of those. Really dark fish. Water tigers.
that is the end of my swim bait. Got a lot of fish on that thing. Might be about PB rock bass. <laughs> you weigh him? Yeah. Got me good. It was like a three and a half pound smallie. Those poor chewed up fingers. Look at that uh, deck coming down from that green deck. Nothing? gonna wrap it up there an awesome awesome day on the water caught some nice uh, late summer early fall smallmouth on the swim bait caught a nice one on the tube it's a beautiful beautiful day not too many pleasure boaters and, and tubers and wave runners out so got to really enjoy the lake beautiful lake beautiful smallmouth clear water um, and like I said guys the importance of having light line making long casts you know these fish have seen a lot of baits through spring through summer you know they've seen a lot of different baits so it's important to uh, keep your distance with the boat be quiet make long casts use the wind to your favor you know when we started this morning it was glass calm and we could see cruisers out just swimming around and it was basically like fishing in a bathtub is really tough especially out on the break on the ledges the break offs we went in shallow saw some cruisers used a tube and a, a small swim bait a little spark shad a hair jig to try and uh, coax those those cruisers into into biting but uh, like I said beautiful day on the water the the guy that did all the damage was the uh, this guy right there that's a quarter ounce guppy head and a four inch easy shiner caught them with uh, all the colors Tennessee shad smallmouth magic um, perch yeah perch you see that guy got him on perch but um, anyways great day on the water 
beautiful day soaking up the rays catching some nice small mouth doesn't get much better than this but like i said make sure you're making long cast light line if you do have a little bit of chop we got some later in the afternoon you want to sit upwind of the areas you were fishing you know we're we're looking for those dark spots that little sand grass areas so we would sit upwind of those spot log with a troll motor and then make bomber casts over it um, but it's always nice to have a little bit of chop on the water breaks up breaks up that that sunlight that light refracting down to the bottom they can't see you as easily you know these smallmouth they're so sight driven they can they they can see for so so far you know 50 60 feet they'll see your pick up your tube or your drop shot or whatever it's it's crazy but um anyways guys if you guys have any questions i'll link all the baits and the colors all that good stuff down below in the video description if you guys have any questions please leave those in the comment section as always guys thank you for watching if you like this type of video hit that like button subscribe to the channel and we will see you guys on the next video